SoapCentral.com presents the 46th Daytime Emmy Awards Red Carpet. From Pasadena, California, it's Soap Central's Dan Kroll. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good to see you. What's new, what's exciting, what's going on? Oh my goodness, well, you know, I keep saying it's daytime's big prom night. And it really is, seeing everyone, the king and the queens, so many kings and queens of the prom here tonight. Don't you have to imagine that that's probably true? Yeah, you know, and it's funny because some of the, the newer folks, you know, because yeah. I've been doing for 21 years or whatever, the newer ones are like, you know, so Uncle Dan, tell us what... Uh, which is the worst. Like, listen, uh, kid, don't block my light, don't step on my lines. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, and get off my grass. Uh, you know, they want to know, well, what do I expect? And I come, like, you can't because you don't know who's coming, you don't know what's in what order. Like, if you plan your life around that, you're going to be screwed. Correct. Can we, we can say that. I mean, you can always say, um, show up early. Well, in my mind. Like I thought it was we were here early, but because if you're if you're walking down the carpet like in front of a Kardashian or something, you're gonna get run, you're gonna get run down like a like a like with a steamroll in a Roadrunner cartoon. I don't remember yeah. timelines or so. Did you happen to be at the Radio City Music Hall? Uh, yes, I was. The year that Martha Stewart was liberated, we'll say. That um, not that okay. no. I was, I do remember going to Radio City Music Hall because I remember like the paparazzi took down these cattle shoots and like it was a whole like it, people got hurt. It was crazy because they all wanted to get the first photo. So like wow. the, the the red carpet is like a contact sport. It, it, well, I, re, I do recall the first one when it was in New York, like walking just down the street in your evening gown to whatever, like, this doesn't seem, all right, okay, like anything could really happen. No. Just miles and miles of just like open whatever, whatever, so but we had fun. What are some of your favorite Daytime Emmys moments? Holy mackerel. Uh, and what? or can you hum the, se the, the theme to the city? Dun, no, oh no, no, I almost did our old one. <laughs> Wait, do that again, do that again. And then, you know, and, and then uh, Morgan Fairchild comes out in her red. Right? We'll do a sound effect voiceover. Or We're going to human beatbox it. Uh, yes, it'll be amazing. So, that should have given us some time to hem and haw. Do you have some favorite moments that you can think of? Uh, or did I completely get you off the road to. No, I mean, I, I, I remember, I mean, Julie Berman winning over and over and over again was always really heartwarming to me because I love her and she always deserved it so tremendously. Um, I remember the year that Susan Lucci actually won, feeling like that was like a sort of a great it's my moment. First daytime Emmys that I oh, attended as really? press, and I'm like, well, this you is exciting. Like, what? Yeah. Um, I do remember the year that Maurice won, being being <laughs> kind of exciting, even though I was not there. Um, and he's done some more amazing work to get nominated again this year, I, as a lot of general hospital folks have. Yeah. It's been a really good year for the show. I mean, I've got my fingers crossed for my baby, Dom Zampronia, of course, because I love him. And he's done such wonderful, deep, organic work over the years. I would love to see him take something home tonight. The fans, I've seen them on Twitter, a lot of fans are from really? him as well. Oh, I'm very happy to hear that. His reel was great. He's just spectacular. And he's like family to me, so to me, he's, he's it. So I have to give you the opportunity to become yes. a part of my red carpet experience. Okay. Do you have a question that I should ask to whomever I speak to next? I don't yeah. know who it's going to be. Uh, whoever it's going to be, yes. I'm trying to put together an all-show build for Habitat for Humanity. I've been doing the one for General Hospital for the past 10 or 11 years. I would like to get it all daytime build together with uh, actors from all four shows, or at least all three networks, because I think that we have the biggest hearts of yes. any actors you know, in the entire world. I don't want to get in a fight about it or anything, but, but I think it would be a great thing for Habitat for humanity and for daytime to get together and build a house and um, and we all kind of love each other we come to these things partly because we love kind of seeing each other and seeing everyone from the other shows get together get some fans build a house and raise some money and some awareness Listen, for Habitat for Humanity that's if there was a way to get all of you to Pennsylvania I would I have contacts in Pennsylvania we would love to have you there Days of Our Lives was there they did uh, like four houses in Philadelphia I would love to get you guys to Pennsylvania and we would even help sponsor it sounds good to me I don't, I mean, Pennsylvania, I, mean, I love Pennsylvania. Or, or, oh, 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 look who's here. The Godfather just got out of his limo. I'm going to give you an Emmy. Baby Daddy, Baby Daddy. Baby Daddy, 2 o'clock. Oh, wait, no, no, that's, that's 1, that's 1 o'clock. That's 1 o'clock. It's, like it's okay, baby, it's a 24-hour clock. All right, well, we know who's coming. Thank you for coming by. It's always so much fun to talk to you. Absolutely. Love seeing you. You got it. SoapCentral.com presents the 46th Daytime Emmy Awards Red Carpet. 
from Pasadena, California, it's Soap Central's Dan Kroll.